that in Lagos say that we have, we have a lot of people that really, really they are into production, but they don't know what it takes to be a farmer. You have to take this thing to the marketplaces. You have to create awareness not only on the real, uh, TV reality show, like you said, with celebrities. We need upcoming people that are, they are nobody, they, are, they have not been known. They don't have name. This is what I believe we youth of that that should be doing in Nigeria. If you want to take this thing, you take it to the northern part of the country, the east to the south, both from the grassroots. A country that has to sustain and to survive have to start from the grassroots, not from the people at the top. And secondly, I would like to change the mindset that the youth doesn't want to go into farming. They are willing and ready to go into farming, but where is the capital? There's nobody out there that is really ready to help the, their dream, their vision. I think this, is, this should be some area of concentration. Both even like our brother from, other, uh, from outside countries that say, even in Germany. Let's encourage the youth. Let there be availability of funds that they can use to invest in farming. Just to um, you know, address what you just said, I think that based on what they've said, it's not as though they chose to go for only professionals. And if you agree with me, I'm CEO of Doc Media. It doesn't mean that I am there yet. Do you understand? I'm just ready to you know, stand alone and say, okay, I'm ready to do this. You have to go for minds that are willing to do this. You can't go after people that are not sure where they want to be at. So if you're going, for instance, to a market woman who feels like, okay, I want to sell pepe. I want to farm too. But if I go to the market, I can still make this money. This farming may not bring money. You won't get the best of that person. But you have to go for minds that, you know what, we know what we're doing. The fact that I'm the CEO of so 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 doesn't mean that I've attained that level. Or I feel like if we all are blown, in quotes, we won't be here. Nobody will need the reality TV show. We all want to grow. We all want to learn from one another. We all want to learn from and, you know, establish ourselves and our businesses via this platform. That is why we are here. And I feel like, secondly, it would set a standard, as he said, for people that are upcoming. So if I'm an Greek student in a university and I watch this show, all I'm thinking is, I need to get out of school as soon as I'm done, you know, establish my own business so I can be a part of this. It's going to push me harder to work harder and be a part of this than to, okay, and they are calling every, every other Greek student, and what's the big deal about the show? You have to set a standard so that people can drive themselves to that point where they will be a part of this. So it's not only for the elites. We would go there, do awareness, you know, create awareness there. But then again, this is the standard that we want because we want to push people to work harder. Now, there's one um, word that um, normally been said. I said, in Nigeria today, whatever Nigerian does today is actually being copied or being eliminated by other African countries. Now, the success of this event is for us to see that every African youth today, not only Nigeria, every African youth today can actually develop their economy with the business of agriculture. I'm amazed with the ways in which agricultural, the agricultural space sector in me is being developed. We have several initiatives going around. I have a friend of mine who's in the house today. He actually developed an application to deal with farming accounting. I haven't heard it before, but it's superb. All he does is just that. It's a niche you get from himself. All he does is farm accounting. If you're a farmer and you need an accounting platform, we'll give that to you. So different niche of, uh, 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 different niche of spaces are being created from that sector, giving employment to youth. Now that there's even mass uh, unemployment rates. Now that this platform makes you see reason why you need to go into agribusiness as an economic developer. Uh, for me, I feel this is a great initiative in the agri space. And um, like, as someone who has seen, you know, a reality, a reality TV show uh, called The Apprentice, uh, you know, by Mark Zuckerberg, uh, sorry, Donald Trump, I feel that, you know, exposing such value to the agri space is really, really an interesting thing. So firstly, I want to congratulate everyone that have been selected, you know, as contestant. I feel a lot is changing. I, I come from a tech background, really, and, uh, you know, growing up for me, I felt every farmer was a poor person. <laughs> you know, the 60-year-old wearing rag, not knowing how to do stuff. You know, but in recent times, I've had to change my thinking. You know, when you see the GDP 
uh, that agri sector is adding to Nigerian GDP, then you, you start to feel a lot is changing in the space. I think recently it's up to 24.1%. And um, that we are doing a show like this, you know, like the organizers have mentioned, you know, you have to start at the peak. What is actually contributing 24.1% to the GDP? Now, of course, the local women and the staff, they had a lot of value, but there is a lot of nuances at the top, mm -hmm. and we need people who know what they are doing to get into the space. Um, a, a few recommendations. Of course, I understand that a, you know, a program that has been planned for six years or more, you know, have a lot of awesome people behind it. But one of the key lessons I learned from The Apprentice, basically, was Donald Trump calls people, a team of people with different expertise to work on, you know, specific projects. Mm -hmm. And like the five arms of the agri space that corporate farmer is looking at, people really want to understand, how do I get this done? How do I get this right? So I feel that tasks that are focused on those aspects, you know, of agriculture, you know, will make everybody see themselves in the game. For me, who is coming from a tech space, I know there is a space for me in agri. Uh, there are a lot of hubs and startups springing up in the agri space, call them, calling themselves, you know, agri tech startup. I, I feel that, uh, a reality TV show like this should expose some of these things and show farmers how they can use tools like this, especially local tools or international software that makes, you know, everyone to make a business out of our grid. Just before I say that, um, a lot of us youth who are venturing into our grid are like, okay, let me see something else I can do by the side. But our grid is a business. And we really need to treat it as a business. I, I just started a little farm and I'm making my own commitment to the farm. I realized I have to document stuff. I have to do things better. So um, I'm making use of, you know, like a dog. Uh, how do they put it? You eat your own shit. Uh, uh, I'm currently making use of the own software I'm working with. But I also know a lot of people in the tech space. So I feel that the organizers of this program should do well enough to see how a Greek can meet with tech, you know, and things can work together. I really like what you said. Um, just like, like I said, I don't want to say too much. Uh, what are your things that uh, all the things you said, they are in the show. You know, every contestant, they will go to uh, form uh, like a team to have a task for each week, which is going to be very, very strenuous. You know, so uh, all these things are already there. Uh, it's just like uh, Mr. What, what is his name? Um, Richson. Richson, he, 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 he's not here. We, yes. we are, we're kicking up. Yeah, we're kicking up mechanization this year. You yeah. understand? Yeah. And all that. And I'm just talking about mechanization and other things like that because I don't want to say so much about about, <laughs> yeah. about, about the project. So we came up with mechanization. There's a whole lot that a lot of people don't know about mechanization. Yeah. So we're gonna see a lot of things. You know, business plan, business proposal, how to get the money. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's excellent. You know, be like, how will I get the money? I get right now. So we want to teach them how to get the money. At the same time, they're going to have a tax of getting the money. So uh, it's just like that. Let me just let me just let me start. <laughs>